know at the Head Rush booth, UFC Fan Expo for UFC 129. We're in Toronto. Listen, you've been a, you're now a veteran of the UFC. You're coming out of Australia. You're here in you know Ontario, Canada. From a Fan ex Expo experience, how do you how does this compare to what you've seen across the UFC and across MMA? Uh, I think it's awesome here in Toronto, you know, uh, the fans are great, the expo is really good. Uh, I think they put together a well-organized well expo this year in uh, Toronto, I think it's one of the best. Now you definitely like to play up to the fans, I know uh, I have some friends down in Australia even, and when you came out with the mask and everything, you know, the fans went crazy, they absolutely loved it. Uh, how, how important is it for the UFC to, you know, to go like how you do and actually cater to the fans and, and improve the fan experience? Um, you know what, I think it's kind of important, you know, we're, obviously we're there to fight and put on a fight, but uh, you, know, you have to be entertaining as well, you have to put on a show, and, and uh, the fans want to see a great fight, they want to see people get in there and go their hardest, but uh, you know, at the same time you have to entertain the fans as well. Now you've moved from Australia over to New Mexico, did you choose New Mexico because, you know, the, the heat in the desert of Australia, he's how, how I've seen it in, in, the, in the TV, in the National Geographic, and they moved to New Mexico because of the, the same climate for you? Uh, no, that's not the reason. No. <laughs> I, uh, I moved over there, Greg Jackson actually met him in Australia and uh, he invited us over to train in his camp. And uh, So I've been going there for about eight years now, I moved over to the States permanently about uh, two years ago. So you know, I'd, be, I'd probably go somewhere else where there's a beach where I can surf, but uh, uh, if it wasn't for Greg Jackson, I, I, that's where I'd be. Now, you know, a lot of his fighters come up to Montreal, train at TriStar. We do a lot, we're actually based, uh, you do a lot of videos out of TriStar. You ever think about coming up, especially during the winter, or you stay away because of the cold and the snow? Um, I'm going to make a few trips. You know, I've been working with John Chainberg lately, so uh, okay, I'm, back. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to come up to Montreal soon. I heard it's really great. I heard it's a great city, and, and everyone that goes there loves it, so I can't wait to go there. Yes, the ladies and the poutine are awesome. All right, now, uh, we're going to talk about the gold rush. Uh, in terms of UFC 129 headline event, George St. Pierre takes on Jake Shields. You know, the, his big nemesis, if you will, finally a real competitor for him. What's your prediction on if uh, Jake Shields can either A, even win a round against George St. Pierre, and, or actually beat him in his native country? You know what, I, I don't see him beating uh, St. Pierre, you know. Jake's probably his toughest competition without a doubt, but uh, St. Pierre's timing is just unbelievable, you know, and I think he's going to be too much for Jake. Uh, whether he wins a round or not, I don't know, you know, anything's possible, but I, I still see St. Pierre winning the fight. All right, that's the uh, UFC 129 Fan Expo Experience with Kyle Noak here at the Head Rush booth. A right, little quick message out, shout out to the fans. Uh, thanks for your support, and I look forward to my next fight, and uh, hopefully everyone supports me. All right, thanks a lot, man. All right, thanks,